Good day, people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host, Shaheen. Uh, first thing first, gold has stabled above uh, previous highs, which, means, which clearly means that my analysis that I have been forecasting for a, a flat correction and completing a bottom somewhere around 1260 around end of August is horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, we are going to definitely see a bottom uh, in uh, around the end of August, but it's not going to be 1260. I'll come back to it. So I am looking at that. Okay, we already saw the bottom happening in um, years ago, uh, back here when <clears throat> that was wave four. So I can clearly now focus that. Okay, wave four is already over, and uh, then we'll see where five is expected to. I'll show you guys the larger, um, the larger labeling for Elliott wave analysis as well. I'm expecting gold is still bullish for next 10 years or so. The only thing that's not going to happen, I was expecting a str strong drop right from the price it's happened uh, and carry on this way. But the recent price action that has created, uh, sent the prices beyond the previous high and their prices are stable in that area, clearly confirmed that we are not going to see the reversal downways. And I have other uh, calculations as well. We, now they're all broken down and they're pointing towards that the bottom of wave four has already been completed. We can confirm with a higher degree now that this whole pattern is wave four structure. All right, so when you are looking for wave five, then expected to last another, I would say seven to 10 years. So how much time it has spent plus another seven to 10 years expected to last in gold. So gold is definitely going to somewhere around $5,000 ish, five and a half ish, but it's going to take some time. It's not going to happen in a few months or, uh, you know, just within two to three years. So it's going to take a good amount of time and we'll discuss what path is expected to happen. I cannot say the same for silver. Silver has yet not uh, shown a confirmation that it has already created a bottom and I'll discuss the reason. I'll also discuss uh, where we can get a confirmation. We'll discuss the important uh, confirmation signal that needs to be given by silver that will actually confirm that silver has either completed a bottom already uh, on a very large cycle uh, level or it has not completed that bottom yet and it has created another bottom. Today's video, we are going to look at Euro, British Pound and US Dollar. I was heavily forecasting towards that since gold is going to be bearish, uh, US Dollar will be bullish. Now I have to, and because of that, it did not happen, that we have to look at alternate labeling. And I have looked at other labeling. The prices are also behaving different than what we thought initially was going to happen in US Dollar. So we'll look at that too. The forecast that I made was, or the pattern that I forecasted for stock market, I will be discussing S&P 500. That's going to stay intact, but we'll further discuss it today's video, where exactly it's expected to happen. So we, in today's video, we're discussing gold, silver. We're looking at Forex pair that will include Euro and British Pound and US Dollar, uh, DXY, which is a basket currencies, which is a representation of a basket currencies of US Dollar against a, a bunch of pairs. And then in the end, we look at S&P 500. I'll, I'm also going to look at a couple of chart, which I think that we'll discuss, and that that are actually uh, Newmont. Uh, one of the very um, I have personally invested in Newmont. This is exactly no advertisement of it. They're not giving me any money, but we'll discuss uh, of why I personally think that is going to be a very interesting chart to look at it. Uh, one small time frame, Gold Junior. So now Newmont is not a Gold Junior. Uh, a Gold Junior that we have is a Cisco Mining in. Uh, we, uh, we will look at it and the possibility of where the price is expected to go. So we have quite a bit to go. Let's start with gold. Uh, first of all, let's have a look at a monthly time frame. I'll show you guys where uh, my labeling is and uh, we'll go from there. I do believe that first I was thinking that wave 4 is going to end over here and I was very vocal about it. Uh, the pattern has already broken. We have still a few months to go. I would say five months to go, but I can now confirm that it's not going to happen. Wave 4 is now complete. I am expecting, however, that we are going to see an extended fifth wave. Uh, not a lot many people can confirm that um, if this is the labeling, then a lot many people can confirm that, you know, wave fifth is still going to happen. I believe that this is uh, definitely going to happen. Uh, we are going to see seven, eight years of seven to ten years of bullish market in gold. That does not necessarily translate to a same duration of bull market in silver. And I'll give you the reasons why in a bit. 
So this is the larger time frame correction. However, the smaller time frame, uh, sorry, this is the larger time frame labelings, but the smaller time frame labeling is very important. First, especially we have to look where wave three ends because uh, when wave three ends, we are going to see significant drops. And I believe since the larger uh, move is about you know, since the bottom from over 15 to around 15, 16 years. Um, maybe 17 years right from the bottom so wave 4 in that term will be significant in terms of time we can see 2 years plus uh, amount of correction here and then small corrections are also gonna take time let's have a look on a daily time frame chart and I'll show you where I'm looking at uh, for the next week to um, prices to happen. I do believe that uh, let's have a look on hourly time frame if it makes sense for hourly okay um, first of all, this stays intact. An important bottom is expected to happen around an end of August, and I'll I'll give you reason why I'm thinking like that. And it's it's gonna happen. We'll see a sharper move. The only point is that that sharper move, which I was looking at it, is not gonna be the sharper move that will push the prices to 1260. But it will still be a significant fan, significant fan, a significant one, and a lot of people will get surprised from that sharper move on the bearish side. So I believe that uh, first of all the the pattern that actually started from over here I believe that we have kind of completed that so the next uh, few weeks uh, next not few weeks next few days I would say I would say a week or so is expected to be bearish so we'll start seeing the corrective behavior uh, and I believe that if I was to uh, be bullish from the bottom I will exit right from the top so I believe that next week is going to bring us something like this pattern. Let me click that. We're going to see either see a zigzag pattern um, or either we're going to see uh, it's not that deep. I was expecting somewhere around 40-ish, 2140-ish. Uh, okay. And we, we can actually see this behavior. This will be a flat correction and then we'll continue upward. Or we can actually see, you know, price is going to take quite a bit of time over here. Uh, it will complete this way and will make a zigzag pattern. Both possibilities are there. So we are expecting this to be a bearish move. Uh, and once we see a price down and a pullback and the correction is uh, visible on a 15 minute chart, we can confirm that we have probably seen uh, more um, of a correction. So we need some more data on this to get a confirmation that we have seen. I'm definitely looking for next seven uh, days, uh, at least next week, plus a couple of more days to be bearish once that is complete we are going to see uh, interesting behavior and then we'll see we'll start seeing prices on the upside okay and this what i what is what i'm drawing in front of you is uh, something will make sense and we'll discuss it again i'm not going to discuss right now but uh, i believe that we are going to see a top after this correction we're going to go up over here and I think we are going to create over here. And then we are going to see a uh, sizable correction, a lot larger degree. Okay. After that, we are going to see a sharper move on the upside, somewhere around 24-ish something. And then the break. The break that I've been talking about, that, that break should bring the prices to previous uh, top. And then we will continue from over here. Okay. So when the sharper breakdown happens, that should be uh, taking the previous stop. This should be uh, somewhere targeting somewhere over here. If prices can pe penetrate over this, which are less chances, uh, we can go further down. But there are less chances. So this is the the bottom that we are expecting to happen. Uh, this is May 24. We can expect for the prices to uh, at the end of um, August. Okay. So therefore now. As you guys can see, a couple of things are possible. You're looking at and you realize now that I'm seeing this is one and a two and a three, a four and a five. After that, we'll see a correction. And then we're going to see another five a correction on the upside or a zigzag pattern on the upside. There's more possibility of you'll see a, a clear zigzag pattern on the upside. And that will bring the prices further down. And we'll discuss this whole pattern, why the prices are expected to be sharply down once we get there. But I'm expecting next seven, eight tra trading days are be bearish. We shall be completing wave four as recording to this one region over here, and then prices are expected to go up um, somewhere, you know, and then pull back. But we have quite a lot of bit to discuss, so we'll discuss that. The larger 
I, I will tell you that the larger drop that I was expecting, I was seeing in the mathematics of the market is going to happen only the size of that is not going to be that great. Let's have a look at silver. Silver is complicated. A lot of people are looking at it right now and uh, we have discussed the pattern. I have deleted the, mm, the larger pattern that you were discussing um, and that for a reason. Okay, let me delete that and then we'll discuss that. Right from the top, we have been considering a five wave and leading diagonal from the bottom. And we also came up and said that right from over here, five wave structure. And I said, this is also a possibility we are seeing a clear truncation. So we have one, two, we have three, four, and truncated wave five. And we are now seeing correction. We mentioned this, that okay, price is gonna go up. And it did go up. The only problem right now here is that we need to see a confirmation. Okay, there are two possibilities at this point. Since we are acting, uh, we are uh, expecting gold to be bearish. We are also expecting silver to be bearish on the next few days. So this could be a possibility when the price comes down and it finds a support right over here and it goes up and that's it. All right. In if this happens, we are expecting for the prices to continue further down, and that will confirm that um, silver is going to be bearish. It is going to create new low as compared to gold okay this is very important point so the next structure this structure is absolutely crucial if this structure happens that will give a confirmation that this is an impulsive wave on the downside and this is another impulsive wave and correction and then this is a smaller degree impulsive wave a correction and then we are expecting further sharper move on the downside that will be a confirmation However, if this does not happen, let's say the price is range in this area when gold is going to go down, next few days are going to be something like this. Okay, the next few days are going to be something like this come up and they make a top. Um, you know, these two tops, look at them. Okay, and this follows. Okay, So as soon as this structure happens and this sits on top of the previous structure, in addition to the line goes above, the prices go above and they, they go above the previous, uh, especially this high. All right. As soon as price goes beyond 26 and 11, that will be a confirmation that our larger analysis for silver has gone wrong as well. All right. This is not 100% sure, therefore next uh, week, 8 to 10 days are crucially important. If prices drop below, there are more chances you're going to create a flat correction of a larger degree. If prices do not fall below, below this area and they form a correction above these two highs, that will be confirmation that there's a higher tendency of the break upside just as gold has done so. All right, so we'll have to wait for the market to give us a signal what is expected to happen, and then we'll come we'll come up with a more explanation um, what is expected to happen. If you look at uh, there, and the fundamental reason behind this is simple. There is a possibility that market is uh, using U.S. dollar, uh, sorry, gold as an inflation tool to fight against inflation and to protect their investment, and that's what investors are doing, and they're looking at silver as only an industrial matter. Okay, in that case, we are expecting, we know that we are expecting a bearish stock market that will go uh, and take, uh, uh, sorry, silver down. And once, but, but that also brings a point, why didn't, when the when stock market was going up, why didn't it take it up with it? So we'll have to be very cautious at what we say um, about silver. We'll wait for silver to give us a, a clear indication. Next week, definitely a bearish side. We are not looking for a continuation next week. I'm expecting a pullback. Whether that, that comes down or whether that stops over here uh, is another thing to see. Let's have a look at Newmont. Now, I believe, I promise you guys uh, that we are going to discuss Newmont. I am going long silver for a, uh, uh, sorry, not silver, gold, mm, gold miner. Okay, Newman is pretty good. Uh, it has uh, also uh, bought a, an American uh, company. I was looking at Newman, and I believe I'm I'm forgetting his name. He's one of the topest uh, miners in Australia. So pretty big company. I think the deal was somewhere around 12 to 16 billion dollars. Uh, but as we can see, that the uh, price of a lot of uh, miners have come uh, under the point because they were going to the to be uh, they were going through the bearish cycle that's the reason we can see the prices uh, of a lot of uh, miners down but since now gold 
<coughs> apologies since now we can see that gold is soon approaching where it will actually start entering into very new uh, all time new highs and it will start a strong move there is a high possibility where we already seen a bottom in new mount all right there's a strong possibility let's have a look at a monthly time frame chart and then probably we can make sense of it what's the data behind it so i am expecting that the next move uh, will will carry new mount way beyond the side wave behavior that we have seen okay that's a lot of if you especially if you look at the bottom somewhere around 2000 ish uh, right over here we can see that even though gold went really high new moon did not pick and go beyond and the previous high right over here there's high chances that it's going to go uh, high this time now we'll discuss the smaller time frame analysis first of all let's have a look on a weekly time frame i can clearly count a five wave structure right from the bottom right over here so i can clearly count one two three four and five i'm looking for wave two which is the brew right over here i believe that we have completed wave two right over here and it's an a b c structure which is a five three five structure wave c seems to be an ending diagonal and this brings a very interesting point all right um, there not always but there seems at times that ending diagonals when end the the move that follows after them is is sharp so there is potential of prices absolutely going through this and finding a correction that will sit on top of the previous okay and then continue from over here okay there this is one possibility it's not i'm not saying it's exactly going to happen but there is a potential for it there is a possibility we already uh, see a bottom here or over here there's another possibility and that is that it's going to take a bit of time instead of sharpening move it's going to take a bit of time uh, let's have a look it's going to take a bit of time uh, something like this and still go up and in that case it will still sit um, on the top of previous high and then go up from over here okay so either it's can take time consuming and go beyond the top this top is very important or there is a chance in some cases of ending diagonals the prices can absolutely go nuts and then find a correction and carry on so one of things one of those things is a possibility um, let's have a look and I'm I'm expecting that new month is going to be very interesting to see let's have a look at a junior minor okay so once again if you look at the whole structure is frightening but i'll show you um, why i'm saying osisco because first of all it's a junior minor i want some exposure in junior minors the second thing is uh, it's not an absolute new company there were a lot of juniors or new absolute new companies and that's why there is a chance of going them bankrupt there's a possibility something else going on now they did a similar drop down from 3771 i guess the market uh, it was you know incorporated somewhere around 2013 ish and then it was so much oversold from this original um, supposed to be you know stock price that's immediately crashed all right and that's why the crash is it went so quickly down you can tell that and and because of that the momentum had to keep keep it low for the next uh, years to come and here and there that's why we have seen the prices in a range however now we have got a confirmation that we have seen one and two of wave five in gold and we are expecting another about seven to ten years of a bullish market in gold there is a huge chance that osisco will come out of the, um, the side wave behavior so let, that's one thing let's have a look at the chart now so i'm considering this whole structure as a wave one structure all right and this whole correction is wave two i believe that there is a high potential for the prices to be taken out of the range and, and that's why i have bet not amount but just a bit amount uh, enough an amount to keep me interested in osisco so you're gonna see i'm right now invested in uh, on the bullish side of newmont and on the osisco as well i'll definitely Keep checking my positions and i'll adjust them uh, for strong bearish moves there is a pause another good point about cisco is, is on the if you look at the side waves 
structure. It's on the lower side. It's not on the top that it can reverse all of it. It's on the lower side. So whether it goes out of it or not, it's still a very important buying point. That's the one major point. I looked at it and I thought, ah, that's very interesting. And I goes, I guess the same goes for Newman as well. If you look at Newman is also in a side wave behavior. There you go. It's also in a side wave behavior. And Newman is sitting right at the bottom end. It's not on the top. I was interested in wheat and precious, but if you look at the wheat and precious metals, it's, it's sitting way above the top. So I'm thinking there is quite a possibility that we might see that drop that we're expecting in gold bring further down. And that will show you guys why I was thinking uh, that it will come down. And also, if you look at it, uh, we have seen interesting behavior. This has not gone beyond the previous top. While gold has gone beyond the previous top, and V10 hasn't gone on the previous top. So we'll keep on these three uh, very interesting uh, you know min, uh, miners and we'll keep looking at it uh, so in next week i'm thinking there's a quite a possibility that wheaton will not go and cross this top right over here okay there's a possibility and if it does that too then the strong bearish uh, price that you're expecting in gold could bring the price uh, of wheaton further down uh, into lower territory so interesting and things happening in gold market right now enough of this uh, let's we have done the miners as well let's have a look at a forex market in forex market uh, has not gone um, as you were expecting and i wanted to see see the break uh, a correction pattern but we were expecting for the pattern to continue something like this lower up um, and then further down we thought that the top has already made been made right over here so we were expecting this to happen but clearly it's not happening you can see that we were expecting this to happen but it did not happen clearly the reason is because price has gone um, bizarre in, in on a daily time frame chart and you look at it and see why it has gone beyond and you can see a bit of uh, illustration here as well on the chart uh, giving a, an idea what I'm thinking okay so now i believe that we have completed wave two instead of you looking for a b and c to complete wave two i believe that we have completed wave two right now and from this bottom uh, we are calculating <clears throat> we are considering another five wave structure from the top we have completed wave one we are looking to complete wave two this blue one and uh, when that is complete we look for the prices to go up this has still this is a very large time frame um as compared to what we are would love to trade so we go have to go on four hourly time frame so right now i believe that this is a wave a right over here we are looking expecting for a three wave structure and hence a pullback so i'm expecting a pullback this is initial wave and a pullback and a five wave structure so this is what i'm really interested in right now we are expecting a pullback in gold i'm expecting also a pullback in uh, in euro as well and then we'll wait for the prices to go up and create a double top with the uh, this top right over here. Once that happens, we're expecting for the prices, a uh, general price expecting for the prices to go this pattern. Okay. Once that pattern is complete, we will get a confirmation that this is wave one right over here. And then we'll uh, wait for the prices to go up on it. quite a bit to talk to. Okay. Let's have a look on uh, British pound. We are testing a similar behavior in British pound too. As you guys can see, we were expecting a similar behavior, but right now I'm considering that, okay, the larger behavior uh, we are look, supposed to be looking at is this. So we are looking right now at this structure. Okay. There's a possibility for it. Now, the problem is that if you look at the structure, we have already seen the top right over here. Could um, we see a sharper move on the downside? All right. Could we see a sharper move on the down? There's a possibility that this will bring uh, the prices down, completing an A, B, and C structure and a 5F structure. All right. So keep that in mind. A strong bearish move is possible in British pound that will complete the structure a, a b c and a b c and a five if sharp in this case sharper move is expected all right and then we'll, we'll see another leg upward that would be completing the wave 
that actually started from over here. So I'm expecting a pullback in uh, in, in British pound. DXY is uh, not that complicated. It's showing uh, almost a similar uh, pattern as we are looking at it. Mm, let me have a look. So this is the pattern that you're looking at it. This is our wave one, and then you're looking for the prices to complete wave two right over here. This structure is yet not complete. I believe that we can actually see a sharper move and then slower move on the downside to complete the bottom right over here. If the prices continue this one, that will implicate this is a um, impulsive move. While we are not an impulsive move, that's why I'm expecting a pullback, a sharper pullback that will price take the prices to either this top right over here or further deep and then further slow down. So I'm expecting a reversal in next week or so. Um, but the larger pattern that you guys get right from the top, you're expecting the bearish price section. Next week is expected to be bullish for US dollar. And then we'll expect for week after to price and bring the prices further down. Um, this is the Forex section. It completes it. Um, so let's have a look at the stock market, S&P 500. Let me go on a weekly chart and I hope that it shows the pattern that we were expecting for. All right, let's have a look on a daily chart and then we can maybe, um, nice chart. Yeah, yeah, this is good enough, okay. So the larger structure that you're looking for on a S&P 500, starting from this top is this one. A or W, uh, B or X, and then wave uh, Y or C, all right? Within wave B or X, we can clearly see an A, B, and C structure. We can clearly see a wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5. Wave 3 is very close to the completion and hence a pullback I'm expecting. And that will keep the prices up. That, that should um, first swing downward. That should complete wave 4 and wave 5. And then we are expecting for the prices to come down right over here. This could be a possibility the last two months um, till August uh, 2024. That would say July and August are going to be uh, the bullish part of it. All right. So I'm expecting July and uh, August to still to be bearish in, uh, in gold market. And they are going to be bearish in silver as well. Where exactly the price are going to be taking, we are, we'll, we'll already discuss that. But I'm still expecting last uh, July and uh, August of my study indicating that they're going to be bearish. Let's have a look at uh, what we are looking at on an hourly time frame. Maybe you're interested in seeing. Um, so we drew the, this parallel line. We drew this parallel line to give us a confirmation when the top is expected to. So this parallel line is definitely important. A bearish break on the downside will get a confirmation that we have seen a top of wave three. Therefore, we have drew uh, we drew this uh, line. Okay. So here the the price is still keeping intact. We were expecting this to be wave one and two, uh, wave three and four, and wave five. Now we're still waiting for it to complete. Uh, I'm looking at there's a possibility that this is wave uh, four and this is wave one and two, three and four, and could be seeing wave one, two, three, four, another push up. Then could that be completing an ending diagonal within um, this structure? There is a high possibility for that. Keep an eye that as soon as prices come below this uh, this channel, that will get a point that we have seen a top in S&P 500. I've also shown you the larger, uh, how much drop we're expecting, all right? So that will be of a larger degree drop that we're expecting in S&P 500. I hope that I was of some help. Um, definitely make a bad call with gold, and I already cleared it. Uh, we are going to see interesting price action in, in gold. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one, and bye-bye.